Well, you know what, <laughs> what I can say about uh, Citizen Kane that, that people don't know. You know, it's one of the, it, it's been elected for years and years as, as the best American movie. And you know, I, I have nothing, and of course it was before my time. I cannot witness anything, but all I can say, uh, you know. Somebody asked me a few days ago, how was it with him? And I, working with Orson, I said, in which capacity? Because when you work with Orson, as I did, and many other people did on the set, I was a translator when it needed. I was a driver, I was a cook. I was the actress, I was the co-writer, I was the co-producer, I was, uh, I don't know. F for Fake, uh, finally, is, uh, this film is made, uh, of course, script is Orson's, but he took something from a story that I wrote before I met him. Uh, when I met him in Zagreb, we talked about different things and I told him about the story. You know, I was not intimidated by Orson, you know, the great American director and so on, because when he looked at me, I saw that there is a man looking at a pretty girl, you know. So, so I had the courage, you know, I said, what Orson Webb, this is a man who would like to have me, so I'm going to tell him the story. And the story was, I wrote the script, the story was a fantasy of mine involving me. Because my mother and my father are good, very good, well, they are dead now, very good painters. My father was an architect and so, and I was an art student. And I was thinking, like all the art students, that one day we are going to be in Paris. So I said to myself, okay, this girl, thinking already of the part for an actress, this girl is a sculptor, she goes to Paris and she meets Picasso. Of course, Picasso being a shrewd Catalan, is not going to give her any drawings because he never gave present to anyone, Picasso. But I'm going to get photographed with the Picasso, I'll have a documentation that I really was with Picasso. Then I'll go back home and I will ask my father to draw some Picassos Signature is not too difficult to, yeah? And I say, look, I was with Picasso, and these are the things he gave me. Olaf's trombone commenced early, finished late, and nearly drove Picasso out of his skull. And then, then there was another distraction, far more disturbing. Orson adored Brazil. Really, I'm not trying to be nice to your country because I'm here and so on. He adored Brazil. He adored everything in Brazil. I'm not talking about girls only. He adored many, many other things. And you know when he would get sometimes not well, and lately he was quite sick, so he didn't feel very well. But he wouldn't let himself go down. And he usually in a house wore a kaftan. He would stand up with those big sleeves, he would stand up and he would do samba. So Brazil, in a certain sense, was with him even if he's in his worst moments. Vão acabar com a praça 11. Não vai haver mais escola de samba, não vai. Chora o tamborim. Ai, que dois, que dois. Chora o morro inteiro, favela, salgueiro.